right, good afternoon. I want to uh, thank everyone for being here. I want to thank my Republican conference members from the Judiciary Committee on another um, long day, but a, a, a day that I was very proud to be a member of this conference. Uh, their questions, their conduct today uh, on a matter of significant importance to the people of New York, which is who sits on the high court and how these people come to us and what their beliefs are and how they will conduct themselves. Very, very critical, and I want to commend our members for the questions they asked. Um, yesterday, we, uh, the Judiciary Committee advanced uh, Rowan Wilson as chief judge. Um, we went over that. Uh, I think we, we clearly saw an interesting contrast between how former Justice LaSalle was treated and what was viewed as qualifying, disqualifying, and then we had Judge Rowan Wilson who um, had a series of very questionable decisions, and yet none of those were disqualifying factors to advance him to be the chief judge. Today, we have sort of a different situation, which is Caitlin Halligan, no doubt uh, a qualified attorney, um, uh, and by all accounts, a very good attorney. Um, but, you know, some questions about in what capacity is she before the committee today? There's currently uh, as we sit here or stand here, not a vacancy on the court for her to occupy. Um, Judge Wilson will be on the floor today in the Senate. So obviously once he's confirmed, that could change. Um, but it, it, it begs the question, I think, with, with Ms. Halligan, is the process and the manner in which she has been put before the Judiciary Committee and potentially the Senate that is maybe the most concerning for our conference. Um, it's, not a, it's not an attack on her, on her character. Um, she's not a judge. So how we, I think how we, at least for me, how we judge her and how certain questions are asked are very different than Judge Wilson, who has several opinions that I think we have a sense of what kind of judge he is and what kind of chief judge he will be. Uh, Ms. Halligan, you know, it's, it's harder. It's harder, I think, when, there's, when they're an attorney and they don't have sort of a lot of opinions to, to look at. Um, and I think our questions from our members showed that. But again, we have very con grave concerns that we're politicizing the court. This clearly looks like a one for one. Judge Wilson, we have to presume, or I'll presume, uh, is a, a tip of the cap to the radical left. People like Senator Hoyleman, um, people like Senator Gennaris, um, an activist judge, and I think fits their idea, ideal of a, not only a good chief judge, but an ideal for the court as a whole. And then, you know, Ms. Halligan, obviously the governor's, uh, well, maybe the governor's nominee, uh, I guess we can presume. Um, and I think it is our hope that she will be more of a moderate voice if she is confirmed. Now that remains to be seen. We don't know, she is more of a question mark, I think, for me and for our conference than Rowan Wilson was. I think I'm, I feel very much, I feel much more confident knowing the kind of judge Rowan Wilson will be, or the chief judge, uh, I am less certain about Ms. Halligan. Um, and uh, we're gonna conference both nominations after this press conference. Uh, we only have about a few minutes here for questions. I wanna bring up uh, our ranker on judiciary, uh, Senator Anthony Palumbo. Uh, and I want to thank him again for his leadership of this very, very important committee. And I want to thank all of our members, Senator Lanza. I want to thank Senator Cantonary Fitzpatrick. I want to thank Senator Martin, Senator Rhodes. And I also want to thank Senator Walzik, who is a substitution today um, on the Judiciary Committee for his questions. He did a great job. He actually had me convinced he was a lawyer, and he's not. Um, and so I want to thank him for that. But at this time, I want to call up uh, our ranker, and then Senator Tony Palumbo. Um, yeah, just to, and just to, we're here for one reason. The Senate Democrats have made politicizing this court and changing the court and turning it into a progressive activist court their goal. That was the point of Judge LaSalle. That was the, the, the head on the wall. That was what they did by rejecting his nomination. <clears throat> they, they are forcing and trying to drive this process. Normally it is a gubernatorial appointment, advice and consent, confirmation of the Senate. Um, that is not what has gone on here this year. 
and that's why we're sort of in this spot to begin with. So while the governor certainly is a part of this equation, I do think it is it is very uh, important, at least from my standpoint, that the Senate Democrats are the ones, and people like Senator Hoyleman and people like Senator Gennaris and others uh, in their conference have driven this, and they've made it very clear that they want an activist judge and an activist court. They got it in Rowan Wilson. We'll find out uh, for uh, whether they have it or not in Miss Halligan.